Today we're going to be talking about signed and unsigned values. In binary, to represent a negative value, every integer in front of the value itself is going to be a 1. And every, for a positive number, every integer in front of the value there is going to be a 0. So this gives us an interesting problem. What do we do when the front display value of a meter is reading a number such as this, and then when you go into Modbus Tester, it's reading a number, and it comes up as this. So there's an obvious discrepancy. Um, the register we're going to be using as an example today is the K-bar, which is a 32-bit signed register. And for Modbus Tester and the EGX web page, they read the registers as unsigned. So this means that all of these ones in front of the value are being read as actual values. And that's why the difference is and is so great. So for the 56326, it's reading this number with 16 additional ones in front of the value. So to do the conversion from a signed value to an unsigned value, we go from the least integer bit, which is 0. If it's a 1, we, in, uh, we invert every number in front of it. So since this is 0, we go to the next one and we have a 1. So we keep these two the same and then we just go down the row and invert every number. So the 0 becomes a 1, 0, so on and so forth. 4, 3, 1, 0, 0. And this would mean every 1 here that previously represented the sign becomes a zero. And then once we read this value, it's going to read 9173. And that's how we do the conversion between signed and unsigned, as well as why um, Modbus Tester and EGX read a different number from the front display. And that's because they read it as an unsigned register.